last time we desecrated a tomb. Plus some. And today, we will be going into the woods. More precisely, the Revel Wood. We need to reclaim the wilderness and conquer the ancient spire. As well as do a couple of things for our workers. But first, we have a little mission. If you look at the flame here, we cannot strengthen it. We need salt. I... I don't know how I let this happen. I can't believe I didn't gather any. I was here yesterday. All right. That really wasn't too painful at all. And now we get to strengthen it. You know what? I don't even want to think about the fact that I'm pretty sure we have salt up there. You know, by the Huntress. Because we also use it to get hide. Oh no, we were like fully out. We really needed it. For the next one, we're going to need goo. We're going to need indigo plant. We're going to need a fell wispborn helm. Yeah, it's going to be a minute. I've also done a little bit to my skills. I basically believe now that double jump is a necessity. You have to get an endurance point and runner to get to it. But I mean, it's not a bad thing. Having more stamina is great. And your sprinting speed being increased plus your stamina being decreased is just huge. And then I've gone all the way into Battle Mage. Look, I just used the one more. You know, it just seemed like a better idea. I am going to be going down all the way to Wizard. But it's just going to take me a little bit of time. Unfortunately, with Blink, the only thing I would have used it for is the Emergency Blink. So I went ahead and removed it for now. Double Jump is just more useful. In more cases. At least for me. At least for now. Whee! It's finally time to get out. And our first stop, well second, if you count the salt, will be the Huntress's Spindle. Unfortunately, it got dark, so I spent the rest of the night fighting the undead. Until I happened upon a flame sanctum. Whoa. Another spark spark me. I managed to burn enough time until the morning. We were here, Westcott. How dare you! The wand is just so much better. Martha's Diary, Entry 1. Still nothing to eat. Still nothing to serve. Bone scraps and watery soup. When will we meet our demise? A new traveler arrived. Hungry and tired, she wanted me to leave the bones in her stew. A quiet anger lingered in her eyes. Wild determination, like a starving wolf. I offered her a room, but she declined with a grunt. Marched into the woods up north to sleep on the cold, hard ground. A brute. She belongs in the wild, anyhow. Maybe she's talking about her huntress. Martha's Diary. Entry 2. I awoke to the smell of blood freshly flowing. I looked outside my window where some predator had made a fresh kill of two fey deer. Effortless maybe, but certainly not painless. At first I cried out in shock, but then the realization hit me. Two fey deer, eight rib portions, maybe ten, twelve sausages, blood pudding as dessert, gallons of stew. This will feed the whole village. Think the ancients. Look, hopefully she got something to eat. I mean, it's a good idea. You gotta risk the biscuit to make a biscuit. Here it is. The abandoned... Hunter's camp. Ooh, a bow. And a note. Leave the rod behind. Finally, fresh air. Not heavy with the scent of pollen or sweet. Sickening decay. My head spins. I haven't slept in days, not since I left my spindle in the revel wood atop that cliffside. So far away now, but I can't turn back. I had to flee. Something sinister is buried in that thicket, spread through the undergrowth like roots. It embraces and entangles, squeezes and suffocates, shimmering in the darkness between the branches under the skin. The silky web of a two-clawed hunting spider. Nightmares like these are forged by men, I've learned. Oh my god, what are we in for? With the new spindle location uncovered, we set our sights on the spire. 
time to reclaim the wilderness. Oh boy. Um. Oh. 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 <laughs> Thought I was dead. These are some interesting plants. It's right next to the farmer vault. So that's, um, that's great that we totally missed this. But into the woods we go. Wow. They're so much taller. It reminds me of the redwoods in Ark. Black seedling. Oh, <laughs> and strawberry. Oh, no. Strawberries. <laughs> I had to prioritize. Got her. Another plant vagina down. Oh, and an indigo seed. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? Oh, my pick is broken. Oh, we'll have to come back. Willow Crush. I decided to skip even the coolest of towns and set my sights on the spire. What? Run! Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Don't step on a trap. Don't step on a trap. Just keep running. What are those guys? Oh. There's a cave. Oh, that might be the only way up there. Here we go. Dude, they're level 13. I'm not even level 9. I'm level 8! Okay, well, you know, I'm nothing if not adventurous. Oh, more of this. I think this is the copper. We'll come back for it. Oh, maybe turn on the lights. I don't want to fall in here. Something to note is we're also getting better meat out of these. And these azure arozulas. We might be close. Finally. <laughs> I've made it. Double jump OP. Whoa, huge balls, huge balls. Button number one complete. Oh, like Frogger. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Double jump. And you don't have to double jump, but... <laughs> it is more fun this way. And there you go. Number two. Next level, we need four. Oh, and just like that, button number one of the second level. Double jump. Marginally, but still. Button number two. Number three. And number four. Got him. The third level needs two buttons. Oh. One. Two. Easy. One. Two. Oh. Balls. And we've made it. The undergrowth of the Revelwood heights madness within. The elixir's cradle. The root of the rot. The seed of insanity. A labyrinth of malady and disorder, nestled in the Bosket's heart. Who cares? We can now teleport here. We're back home and Oswald needs our help. Have you heard of Pike Meets Wisps? They're dancing lights in the sea. Good omens, but merely a trick of the light, I thought. Until my daughter saw him. This strange glimmer in the water, moving, prowling. 
Now I see the same glow whilst I slumber. From within the castle, it haunts me. Tis no trick, it lives. Are you prepared to change that kid? <laughs> yes, I am. He also needs a crucible. To do my best work, I really need a smelter. But crafting a smelter requires a crucible. I used to have one. I'll bet the scavengers got it. It's probably at their mine way up north in the Revelwood. Well, we're going back there anyway. Some berries. Oh my, that sweet scent. You carry some berries with you. Oh, I would die for a gorgeous berry bowl right now. Say, could you perhaps get some strawberries at least? It would brighten my day. I'd even share a little secret with you. Well, I did get some, my sweet Emily. But first, I must test my skill. I've been trying to do this quest for a while, but I just keep getting sidetracked. Not today. Or to Kelvin. Not these bears again. The earth quakes. Reports from beneath Fort Kelvin are true. Creatures unseen borrow here and have become a threat to our survival. They dig upwards, shaking the ground. Do we abandon our post for the shrouded wilds outside our walls, or stand and fight the creatures coming from below? We must keep this place safe. After all, Fort Kelvin is our last retreat. Oh no. Oh no. Hum. That is not a good sign. Oh no, he's a healer? Yes, I know these guys are resistant to frost, but this is all I got. Go down, go down, go down. Bless me. What does the blessing do? Volca. That's all I know. If we go to status detail, the beast runs through your veins. I mean, yeah. Volca. The Volca. If any soul finds this, take heed. Fort Kelvin has succumbed to the Volca. We fought bravely, but the beast proved too powerful. They have an aura of unearthly strength. If you must face them, I implore you to seek out the source of their otherworldly might, the statue where they make sacrifice to their wretched gods. Whether it be enough to turn the tide, I cannot say. But we got it. We got the Vaka. Poor Fort Calvin, though. R.I.P. But well, this was not our journey. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh. It's here. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall way, way below. Our sanctum a mist hollow, blinded from within. Crude lifeblood is extracted, diluted, and alchemized, transformed, transfigured, molten, and born anew. Profound power fueling the bodies of the youngest in Ember Vale, rotting them. We failed, blinded by our stoicism. Let us point our gaze back towards the sky, for this hollowed core cannot be saved. Oh. Oh, we are gonna save it. And luckily it's morning, because I couldn't see shit at night. These are the hunting grounds that she wanted me to get, but I don't know why she wanted me here. What is this? <gasps> Clay! Oh yeah, I'm getting all of it. Hmm... Since we're nearby, we might as well get this chainsaw for the carpenter. Thorn hold. Oh. Disarm this. Oh, not these guys again. Oh, 
but they're tough. Oh, got him. This place is vicious. There's so many guys. Nope. Oh, that was good. Good shield. He saved me. There's so many puppies, though. Oh, thank goodness. There's a repair thing. Got him. I see you. Turns out I cleared this whole torn hold for nothing. The saw is not even in there. It moved. Bossong Frontier. <laughs> oh, that went super well. Exactly as I wanted it. Let's re- What the hell? I was trying to read! I love the wand. Best weapon in the game. <gasps> Here it is! The table saw! Or the circular saw. The saw! Scavenger Gristler Matron. Well, um, I want her. I think I want to blow that up as she comes by. Let's see if we can make this happen. Come to me, Mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please tell me I will land these. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh, that's a lot of wolvie boys. It's okay, it's okay, I can get her. Easy, easy. She was cake. I'm back. You brought back some circular saw blades, huh? Scavengers gave you trouble? Oh, yeah. So Thornhold didn't hold. A shame. Well, let's craft the table saw in their honor. Put it where I can see it. I sure will. We'll also make the kiln. I don't know why I put it in the middle of there, but we can still go around this, so it's okay. And the kiln is here. Fired brick requires lump of clay and wood logs. Let's set some of these up. And wood planks out of logs here. So I'm going to put a stack there. I'm going to put another stack here. And then I'm worried I'm going to use all the clay, but I have a flame altar right next to a deposit. So I should be okay. Since I do want to work on my garden, I think it's probably important to figure out what I need to make my potions. I hardly ever use the mana potion, but I really should. So I am going to put some of these to grow. We should also be looking into the Flask of Fell. It's just really good. 20 stamina. OP, OP. 
We can make a mage and a healer set, but most importantly, the mage set. We don't care about healing. Amber. Oh, I need it. Oh, the sweetness reminds me of the botanical paradise I called home before the drought. We barely got by while other cities were rumored to have too much. Glenwood's End, for example, was known for abundance. Even their landfills were speckled with riches. It's a shame that villagers went a little loony. They made great strawberry wine. <laughs> well, her priorities are great. Don't overwork yourself. Don't worry. I don't plan to. Keeping up with my foresty theme. I think we're gonna go and get ourselves the forge. Um... Look, I've landed, but I don't know what's happening. I still hear my glider, and it looks like this! We'll use it again. Maybe that will clear it. It did not. All right, a quick relog and it seems to be fixed. Back on track towards the forge. Ooh, mark of some meth. But this looks absolutely crushable. <gasps> it's a back door. Oh. Not a secret back door. Got him. And my little head boy is back. Sameth demands it. Listen, you lazy brutes. Our leader Sameth demands we dig more elixir wells. This will give us all the elixir we could ever need. It will be dangerous work, but the risk is surely worth it. Dig, you fools, or face the wrath of Sameth. Sameth sounds like quite the asshole. Yeah, we're doing so good today. I haven't died yet. Uh-oh. Why would I jinx it? I found a fire wand, so I suppose it's good to keep it just so we have more options. I really should farm all this copper because there's a repair station right here. Oh, and a note. We have dug too far. Some meth. Your greed for the elixir cannot be quenched. You keep it to yourself when you said you share. You liar. We, your people, die for you in those tunnels. For what? We banish you from our myths. Go now, or we will show you the strength of our numbers. Find your elixir somewhere else. This is our mine. Damn straight. They've revolted against a meth. You deserved it. Anybody here? Anybody bad? Doesn't look like it. We just got the crucible. Oh, and there's another repair equipment here. I gotta say, this is super convenient. I actually feel like we should put an altar here. Like, maybe not within the mine, obviously, because I don't want everything to despawn. But right outside of it. Because this is the best place to farm copper. I mean, you can repair down there, so how could it be any better? I spoke too soon. Oh! <gasps> He killed us! Boom. And now, this is gonna be close enough to this over here, so we're gonna be able to get all this copper if we want. And then there's clay right here as well. Yeah, I might be able to take down a couple of my other altars. Now, of course, I will have to fight every time I come here to the Marcus of Meth, but I think that's worth it. Oh, there's a cave here. Hmm. Maybe I should put it up here. Yeah, I'm gonna move it. Flame altar. Complete. It's gonna make farming so, so much easier. I'm gonna extinguish this one. We don't need this anymore. I'm back, and it's time to craft the smelter. Ah, oh, you found my crucible, huh? Was that journey too tough for you? Quit whining, flameborn. Rekindling a flame takes time and patience. Right now, just crafting that smelter will suffice. Let's get to work. Let's indeed. The smelter is mine. I'm gonna plop it right here, right next to the kiln. I will have to move all of this. Copper bars require charcoal and copper ore. Let's get some started. I got the pickaxe. Let's make the axe. Get rid of the old shit. We got new shit. Bye. Goodbye. 
Delete. Delete. This is amazing. Oh, I'm gonna farm so much better. And now that we have the rest of our medieval appliances, it's time to go clean some quests up. Oh! I have a putrid head! I have a putrid head! Oh, get off me! Get off me! Some venereal disease shit here. I don't think so. Oh, come on! Like plant herpes. I think it's in here. Oh. I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. Yay! Oh, having two different types of wands is amazing. And I've leveled up! Oh, with my super axe, I'll also be able to get more of these luminous balls. Oh, <gasps> Amber! Sweet relief! I wonder where I can get more, though. We need a lot more. Oh, whoa! Where am I? This place is incredible! A tentacle tree. This is what it wanted me to find. All right, all right, I can do this. I can't do this. Oh. Got him. Another amber. Okay, copper is definitely easier to farm with a copper axe. I mean, it makes sense. But still no amber. Other than the little bits that we were able to find. More amber. I just keep looting these. Yeah, there it is. And another one. And another one. I'm rich. Got him. Look, although the source of the amber was not found, at least I was able to find some. You know, and the little bit that we do have, we'll put to use. But first, we need to do what we've been wanting to do since the start. We are getting this freaking Huntress's spindle. <gasps> this is it! We've made it! Spindle me! Abandoned Hunter Camp, we've made it! Oh man, we took a mini detour, but we've made it. Oh, <gasps> there it is. The hand spindle. Um. Holy. I, I mean. I. You know? Freaking love the wand. That was insane. But amazing. A sleepless night. A comforting heat emanates from the rocks, so I won't need a fire tonight. I hear them in the distance, searching, howling. It's the wind that carries their madness my way. A draft from the mines. What are they digging for? Their screams rip through the night and scare away all prey. I'm starving. Should I have stocked up on resources when I was near Glenwood's end? No. The whole place reeks of blood and betrayal. I know the scent well. I'll walk with hunger in my heart if I must. You must know more. We will feed you. Oh wow, look at all the butterflies. <gasps> There's a... They're bats! Little blood-sucking beasts. How dare you. My hand spindle. Mm-hmm. An ambush. But I hit my tracks. How could the soldiers... Ah, spiders, you say. Ignore me, then. Place that hand spindle and we'll move on. Hush now while we craft. My secrets are mine to keep. I'm gonna place it right here. To make linen, we're gonna need flax. And unfortunately, we're gonna need a lot of linen. I think my best bet is to use all these seeds and just plant so much so that next time we're ready. 
I've been getting a little bit prepared, as you can see. Incredible progress was made here today. But next, we're gonna go on a clearing spree of the root of all corruption.